The family of the Dayton woman killed by two dogs last week says they do not want, they want to make sure that nothing like this ever happens again. Megan O'Rourke spoke with them today. She is staying on this case for you. Clonda Ritchie's family members all live out of town, but today they made the trip to Dayton to meet with detectives. Immediately after that meeting, I was the only reporter to speak with them. It was here inside Dayton Police Headquarters. Clonda Ritchie's family met with investigators for over an hour this afternoon. Her brother, sister, and two nieces all traveled from out of state to talk with detectives face to face for the first time since Clonda's death last Friday. After the meeting, her niece told me Clonda was loved by her family, and they want to make sure this never happens to anyone else because that's what she would have wanted. It appears Richie herself made every effort to prevent the dog attack that clinged her life outside her East Bruce Avenue home. This week, Two News Investigates uncovered records of a dozen complaints she made to the Animal Resource Center about the dogs being loose, as well as video from Montgomery County Common Pleas Court documenting her effort to get a protection order. That dog backed us into the side door, paws on, growling. Not a nice dog. And they're not supposed to be left unrestrained. And after that was denied, this call to Montgomery County Regional Dispatch in July. Try the civil protection order, and it got brushed aside with those judges as a neighbor dispute. This has gone way beyond a neighbor dispute. One of 16 calls for help 911 dispatch logs show Richie made over the last year. All failed attempts to save her own life. Now, Richie's family tells me they were only in town to meet with detectives today, but will return on Saturday for her memorial service. The irony, of course, is that Klonda was an animal lover herself. So in lieu of flowers, family members are asking that you adopt a pet in her honor. I'm Megan O'Rourke, 2 News, working for you.